for this video. We're 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 we're, 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 we're you guys. I have a terrible stutter that I got over like ten years ago, and it's like coming back slowly. And I don't know what to do with myself. We've got out the long mic. To, I don't even know what to say. I just want to start this video out by saying that I want to apologize to you personally. You have to endure this with me. Because what I'm going to talk about today is crazy, wild, cool, funny, goofy. I <laughs> not wait. I know you can't either. I just want to say I'm sorry, but I had to react to this and I had to watch this and I had to make a script for this video. So you have to endure the pain with me. Oh yeah, baby, it's time for everybody's favorite segment of the video to discuss my favorite comments from the last video. But I'm also going to take a little time to say please just like and subscribe. I know this is annoying, but it does help out the channel. I have a family to feed. Please. Here are my favorite comments. I love all of you. Honestly, everybody that comments, you're amazing. You're lovely people. I'm trying to hit 500 subs soon, so please leave a like down below and subscribe and comment your thoughts on this video because you may just be picked in the next one. Let's get back to the video. The topic of today's video, the dude we're gonna be discussing, his name is Joe Lampton. Have you heard of him? No? Yes? He's a certified douchebag. Um, so what, what, what are you expecting? Probably nothing great. Well, you're correct. AKA uh, Mr. Lotta Hose on Twitter. His ego is so big. His must be massive. Our old buddy Joe Lampton takes misogyny to an incredible new level. Like I'm talking, he he takes it up a notch and he raises, he literally raises the bar for misogyny and sexism. I don't know how he did it. It's honestly impressive. And it just so happens <laughs> that he's friends with the infamous Andrew Tate, who who is just taking men in this world by storm. People love him. They adore him. He's sweet bald, his sweet bald head. They want to caress it. He's buddies with Joe, so there's your relation. That's how we can connect it to. Joe Lampton is literally, I just, I can't even describe it. Like Andrew Tate, he strives to give only the most helpful of advice to the young, impressionable teenagers of our generation. His Twitter page, like I said, is literally just a rabbit hole of misogyny and sexism. How fun, right? I'll even go as far as to saying that Andrew Tate is better than Joe Lampton. I think that Joe Lampton is a worse human being than Andrew Tate, and that's saying something. I know. I know it's saying something. It's hot in here, so I got my fan going. If there's a little noise in the background, I apologize. My rosacea's flaring up. Now, I, 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 b b b b b b Before we even begin, I want to preface that this video was actually inspired by my one of my favorite YouTubers, Oompaville. He made a video on him. I will link that in the description because it is mainly my inspiration for this, and I'm pulling some of the tweets and stuff that he mentioned in this video as well. So I don't want to be caught for stealing, but I also don't want to go without giving my man credit. So thank you, Oompaville. Caleb, I love you. But Andrew Tate has, like, taken his advice and his platform to like leaving the matrix and being a more masculine man which is annoying but it's not the same as joe lampton's platform and what he's using it for joe literally will just go on twitter and tweet three to four times a day and he just spews blatant disrespect for women and it's just insane to me how somebody could be this much of a prick Here's just one of his tweets, and trust me, there is more where this came from. There are only five types of valuable women. A pretty virgin. Two, a woman from a rich family. Three, a woman who makes a lot of money. Four, a woman who looks like a porn star. At least a nine. Five, a woman who is famous. Number one is a virgin. Joe, I need you to explain yourself because you're treading on hot water here. I can only imagine his reason for a virgin being so valuable to the masculine manhood. Gotta have a nice woman to fornicate with, right, Joe? Correct? Uh, let me guess, you'll be her first time. The virgin is a trophy because no one else had her. You can brag that you've been her first man. Others will respect you for this. Of course, if the virgin looks like she'll lower your status when you're with her, so you should not date girls who are below cute levels. Take my man's advice, he's right. Oh, just as I expected, the main attraction in a woman, how she can boost your pride and ego. So next time you're out picking a woman, make sure you look at her. Make sure you scan her up and down. If she can boost your ego and you can hang her up as like a trophy wife, go for it. That's exactly what you need. And and then he like says, if the virgin isn't even cute she'll ju and she'll just lower your status, eh, throw her out. She won't even benefit you in any way, shape or form. Status and ego, what I believe is the makings of a utter piece 
of Joe isn't, though, just a world-class taker of the V-card. He also likes to put his women to the test. This can't go wrong, right? If you're with your girl and you never cheat, never go to nightclubs without her, never talk to any other women, and she doesn't cheat, this doesn't mean she's loyal. She's just not tested. She's truly loyal when you do all of the above, and despite that, she still doesn't want any other man. 99% of women you know would stick by your side only if you provide full-time attention and entertainment. The moment you're a little bit busy, they're replying to DMs, going out, f***ing with their exes, learn life. Lesson to you guys, uh, put your woman to the test. Go out and cheat on her. Go do this and that. Go mess around with them. Why? Because if she don't come back, she ain't worth it. If she does come back after you literally cheated on her, she's a good one. She's worth your time. Yeah, write that down in your book of notes, sweaty teen boys out there. Not only, though, is Joe Lampton a Twitter life coach, uh, but he's also a teacher. He takes a lot of inspiration from Andrew Tate, can't you see? Just like Andy Poo, uh, Joey has a few courses that can help you make that money. That's, the, that's what I'm into, baby. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. His big course that he offers is titled OnlyFans Genius. In this course, for a small fee of $749, you can learn the ropes of OnlyFans contracting. I was excited. I know I am. How fun! Exploiting women for your own financial gain? Basically, for 800 bucks, he shows you how to hire models to pose for OnlyFans. And you make the money off of her body. I cannot wait to make so much money off of women and exploit them for my own financial gain. Yeah, baby! If you're not feeling just the OnlyFans Genius package, and you're looking for something more, look no further, because there is an upgrade. You can get the OnlyFans Genius Plus 3 months mentorship program. All of this for a small fee of $7,748. What the f In one of these packages that you can buy, there's a few on his website, but I'm just talking about the main one, there is a chat room that customers and fans can even get access to. This is basically a safe place where they can chat about things like exploiting people, treating women with the utmost respect, and sex, you know, the important topics of modern day. The war room is what the chat rooms are called, are full of lovely conversations and exclusive advice from the man Joe Lampton himself. Here's something that Joe said to someone in the war room. Man, we're on here on private chat, we can talk real shit. Sometimes you might slap her, other times you might ignore her. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you use threats. Gotta see what works. This is insane. Some things cannot be said on courses in Twitter. You gotta think for yourself. For example, you are in the same room with her. She's in your house. You can't ignore her. You're with her there. If she starts acting crazy, you gotta be a bit violent to get her out of the house at least. This man actually exists, which blows my mind. Oh, and here's another uh, War Room excerpt. Man, there is more than one way to skin a cat. It depends on the situation. In my situation with her, I make her work 28 days per month. She doesn't have any friends. She's allowed only Instagram to make money with. No people from Romania, no friends. I cheat. Don't answer the phone for days in a row. I had to use this tactic because she was something like, I already to all you say, and you don't do nothing for me. First of all, dude, you can't even type, so just get off. Second of all, that sounds like slavery. I'm not gonna push the, the brink. I'm not gonna push the border, but it sounds like slavery. Just a little bit. And to really show how much of a lovely person he is, here's one last ride through the war room. Last week, a girl from my studio was angry, and then I blocked her number. She was annoying me, saying, unblock me now, etc. I like how the etc is in the, in the quotes, too. <laughs> I took her keyboard and hit her in the head with it. She went in the room and worked seven hours without any break. She didn't mention nothing about it later. For her, a bit violence worked. For others, you use different methods, etc. I am not advocating for violence. Here in Romania is different. No laws for females, etc. Don't copy this in US. Might get in jail. So don't copy him, but, you know, take take inspiration from hitting a woman over the head with a keyboard. You might get away with it if you, if you modify the action a little bit. So to wrap things up, Joe Lampton is a complete and utter f kid. It's these type of people who just leave a big fat stain on the universe and make absolutely no attempt to clean their mess.
I hate Andrew Tate just as much as the next person, but I think that myself and all of you guys can agree that today we have discovered somebody that might just be worse than Andrew Tate. Nothing better than exploiting women, uh, having sex with virgins to up your status, and hitting them over the head with a keyboard because she asked you to unblock her, right? You know, nothing better than that, guys. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. A lot of this video is being sarcastic. I do not think you should disrespect a woman in any sense, or anybody in general. Just don't beat people over the head with a keyboard and enslave them for 28 days out of the month and tell them they can't go on Instagram other than to make money. Uh, just don't do that. It's very simple to not be a jerk. And it's also very simple not to cheat on people. It's really not that difficult, you know? It's not that hard to cheat on people, and it's not that hard to be a nice person. It's really, really not that hard, guys. So for everybody that's watching at home, learn from this guy. Learn how to be the opposite of him. Learn how to not be anything like him. Just be a good person, guys. It's honestly, it's one of the easiest things that, that we can do as people is to just be nice. And for shits and giggles, here's one final Joe Lampton tweet to suffocate the last brain cell remaining. A loser has to pay a heavy price to inspire loyalty from a woman. Live in the same house, don't cheat, not allowed much. Men don't want this reality, but they want a woman who won't cheat. High value man does whatever the f he wants, and the chick remains loyal regardless. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, you got that heat? Boy, I came to kill the game, you ain't gotta ask twice If you ain't ready for the fame, get up on my lane, nigga, this the fast life I'm trying to cop a couple chains in the diamond rain, shining like a flashlight And have them saying, damn, that's nice, I ain't never seen nothing that bright Like, that's right, I know you heard about the name, you ain't gotta act like it